Hello Planeswalkers, welcome back to Commander Coliseum. I am joined by our friends Alice, Nathan, and Allie. Greetings. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alice, did you want to start with uh, what you're playing today? I I'm playing my Sir Gwyn deck for the first time. It's, uh, as someone said, hopefully pretty simple and equipment and night. Hopefully it runs well. Nice. Hello, I am uh, playing Tristani Discordant, um, also known as the better yet underrated Tristani. <laughs> Is that the one? Yeah, I just realized that's the one that hosts Zedru. Oh yeah, this randomly hosts <laughs> Zedru. I did wonder if that was on purpose. Deck? Wait, it does. Do you want me to? Do you want me to pick? A, I should pick a different. No, I'm picking a different deck. Oh yeah. I'm going to pick a different... So read the last line of text on Tristani. Just oh, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, let me pick a different deck. There, there'll be like the time that uh, <laughs> Tyler threw uh, Thalia against my Valdok deck. It's like to uh, everything enters tapped. It's like, okay, my tokens just uh, appear and then die. Yep. I completely assumed that was intentional. <laughs> no, uh, I was not trying to shut someone out of, out of the game. That is not how I, how I play Commander... If I was trying the to last... anyone out of the game, I would have played Mogus. Um, the last two times I've been here, I've got Boring Clax, so... Okay, I'll play, I'll play a Fire Song and Sweet Speaker. <laughs> we'll, we'll break out the Boros. We were talking about it earlier, we'll do it. So <laughs> now you'll be playing Red and White. Uh, yeah, see? And now, and now Dali... Uh, I'll be the Dali, only non-white there. Yeah, Dali, Dali will be... Uh, at Dali. Did I just <laughs> combine... Okay, you want to know what? It's fine. Uh, Ali will be it's the fine. definitive um, outlier that we can all attack first. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm one of you. I'm playing red, right? We're, we're all playing red. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But see, yeah, you lack the camaraderie. You lack the camaraderie of right. Wait, yeah, let me let me switch my commander. That's No, I've, I've, act I've actually... That's true. Not to rule and die. Time, but I've almost done that. Um... There's a time that I played in paper where um, the guy or someone brought out his uh, Zadru deck, and I was playing Tristani, and like we got halfway through the game, and like we weren't using the effect, and then someone just kind of like walked by our table, and was just like, "Hey, do you, are you remembering to use this effect on Tristani Discord?" And we were just like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> we have real zeroed that out because it's too late to start now. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we just we just started. To be fair, it's only creatures, so I mean, Sedru can give away not creature stuff. Yeah. And it'd be we fine. Fire Song and Sun Speaker, also known as, how much life am I at? <laughs> I've been well, so I have to attack you. I've been wanting to build that deck for a while now. It it's it's the best worst deck. I really wish Fire Song and Sun Speaker was like five mana rather than six. Um, but yeah, you know. It's such a small difference that makes such a big difference. Today, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Should I redo my intro then officially? Yeah, you're fine. Um, we okay. we know what you're playing. <laughs> what you're playing now. So then Allie, you're the only one with partners. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm playing Dargo and Dargo the Shipwrecker and Kodama of the East Tree. Um, I think I put this deck together Monday. My five damas that I bought arrived, and I wanted to use one. <laughs> and that's about it. Scary combo. I'm playing Zedru today. Uh, I don't want my deck, so I'm going to give it to everyone else. <laughs> if you got any equipment, I can have those. Uh, you that's don't. You don't want my equipment. <laughs> But you're gonna. Oh get, God! I probably don't. You're gonna get what I give you, though. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess Alice is going first. Okay. As uh, we even got a capable hand. Uh, let me check here. You want to know sure. what? I've kept worst hands. Um, we're just gonna try it. We're just gonna try it. Okay. This, this deck, I, I, the amount of the amount of unkeepable hand that I've kept with this deck and still managed to do something is a decent amount. So never makes it a good idea. 
Yeah, you're not wrong. It's a bad <laughs> idea. Viewers at home, don't keep my current hand. Okay, I, I kept an okay hand just because planes. Turn one soul ring for my first time. I kept what? I kept a hand that is only acceptable in an Eldrazi deck. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll show you pass. Passing. Yeah. Cool. I will play a mountain and then I will pass. Draw forest go. Cool. Um, I will draw. We're gonna go uh, reliquary tower, soul ring, thought Ooh. vessel. Oh, you had to one up me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Alice, wow. it's your go. I was going to say, I hope that's turn. <laughs> what <laughs> else would there be? I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, At least it's I all goes. Play, uh, float a white and bounce my planes with a Boros Garrison. And. Mm -hmm. A two colorless for Archaeomancer's map. Ooh, nice. spicy. Search out uh, up to two planes, reveal them, put them into my hand, and whenever anyone ramps ahead of me, I get to put one in the play. Cool. And that's your turn? That's my turn, yeah. Um, well, that is technically a land. Uh, Bosage, whose shelter's all tapped. I will find one in a moment. <laughs> and then uh, you also have to discard down the hand size, correct? Or will you not? Uh, I will check. I think I've got six in hand. Uh, oh, in hand. Shuffle up in a second. Uh, it would include the one that I just put in there, so it won't. Yeah, I'll hide my, I'll hide my, uh, I'll hide my play. Just uh, yeah, I'll, I'll discard it. Uh, one of the planes. Cool. Uh, I'll then... play a Boseju, ramp in front of you, you get to four planes. Uh, yep. Pass. Alright. Oh, that would have been nice last turn. I've got a mountain and a Finborn Elves. Ooh, nice. And a dork. Best dork. And a pass. Draw for turn, and then I need I need colored mana, like real bad. So we're gonna tap four for solemn, solemn simulacrum. Nice. I'll search for a base <laughs> land, and that's gonna end up being my turn, so I can pass. I will the Shimmer Drift Veil tapped and a two for a Skynet Vanguard and eh, tap out for Sculpting Steel and I'll have it enter as a copy of Soul Ring. Oops. And pass the turn. Uh, give me a second. For some reason, my um, I don't know if anyone can hear me right now, but for yep. some reason, my uh, audio is cut out. Can people mm -hmm. hear me? Yes, I, I, I can okay, hear you. Cool. I, so randomly, my like audio is cutting out, and I just won't. I'll go through like a small period of time where I just can't hear anybody. Um, mm -hmm. A spine rock gnome. That was also technically a land. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and put this under my spine rock knoll. I'll hide away a card. Oh, thank God. I thought I still haven't uh, hit any white sources. I'll pass. Um, All right. One tap, upkeep, draw. Okay, that's a, that's a thing that does magic -y things. Um... That would definitely be a turn. One sec. I got a card that is a foreign language, and I want to make sure I know what it, exactly what it does. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. So tapping the elves. 
and three to cast Natural Order. Oh. Sacrificing the elves. What is that? I'm going to get any green creature and putting it on the battlefield. That's the uh, Mystical Natural Archive. Order. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yep. As an additional cost, sack a green creature, search for a green creature, put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle library. I don't know what I'm getting, but that I'm not doing anything else this turn. Cool. Um, I will start my Sorry, I, my thing died out again. Can you just tell me the card name I can look it up? Natural Order? Natural Order. Got you, thanks. That would be mean. Um, I would like some more mana. Um, I have really bad green creatures in here. All my green creatures are red. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, that's... <laughs> um, wow. Tapping three for Temple Bell. Yay. I have a Thread Tusk. I love Temple Bell. I'm going to go ahead and tap it and hope to hit a land so everyone draws a card. Okay. Guess what I didn't hit? Um, <laughs> I will pass. Thank you. We'll go again. And I will play spectator seating, untapped, because I'm on two opponents. Um, In response, two of us will scoop, so oh. that is tapped now. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 IQ plus. Sabotage. <laughs> and without that mana, Ice Scoop as well. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I'll be black with Shimmer Drift Veil, white and red with Oros Garrison, and um, white and one of the Soul Rings for Sir Gwyn, Hero of Asheville. And I will swing for two at. Uh, Nathan, you're open. And make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, you don't want to let me chump the solemn? Part of my audio cut out. Who are you talking? You, sorry. And my audio's out again. <sighs> um, oh no, it's not the same order for all of us, is it? I don't know if they can hear. I, I'm guessing it's me, right? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this doesn't actually have lifeline. But... I don't know why... Like, You're not able to hear Alice. So it's it's selectively picking up audio in general. Um, the issue is is that like I will just like and I don't maybe I'm doing something wrong like maybe it's something with the system um, that like I need to start setting or whatever. But just like randomly, just everything will go silent, or like I'll hear background noise from one person, but I won't hear someone else saying something. Oh. Um. So okay, so then so I do take two. Okay. Yes. yes. Sorry. Captain attacking. Yeah. So I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I mean it's it is what it is. Well, I'll just cope with it as much as I can. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, we'll we'll help out when you just let us know when you um... don't hear anything for a bit. I can help out with that. I right, I'll just drop I drop a tech. We can always write stuff down. Uh, yeah, I'll just pass. Okay. Draw. Okay. Mountain land for the turn. It's really not a good card in this deck, I'm realizing. Alright. Uh, two to cast Microsynth Wellspring. Uh, when it enters, or is put into the graveyard, I can search for our basic land, reveal it, put it in my hand, it'll be a forest. Cool. Uh, I'm also casting a Destiny Spinner, and then passing the turn, and then I'll do my search. That's the save time. Uh, how many lands do you have, sir? I have four. I did play one. The one I'm searching for is going to my hand. Right. You said pass, right? Cool. Um, tap. Draw. Okay, I mean, that's, that's definitely something. Hmm. 
Could you attempt the bow? Um, not yet. Um, I'm gonna float a red, and then I'm going to play Boros Garrison, bouncing the mountain on my hand. And I'm going to Same. tap three more for Lithoform Engine. Ooh. Um, and huh. then, yeah, we're gonna Temple Bell. So everyone draws a card. And I will pass the turn. Thank you. They're worrying hmm. amount of mana in my hand. Or cards in my hand. <laughs> oh, that's right. I have no max hands. Ooh, um... I will play a Needle Verge Pathway and tap it for Agent of Stromgald, which is just a 1-1 one, one knight, but I can pay a red to add a black to my mana pool. Which, neat, frankly. Sweet. Pardon? Sweet. Oh, I thought you said speak, sorry. No. Uh, I will move to combat. And I will swing uh, the flyer and a new token at Nathan mm -hmm. and Sir Gwyn at you for giving me all those cards. At me? Yes. I heard the flyer and the tokers and the tokens. So that's yeah. three damage. Where is yes. Gwen going? Uh, Gwyn's going at me, Thanks. so I'm going to chump the Solon. Uh, it's got Menace, sorry. Oh, okay, so I'm, That's getting, why. I'm getting hit. I thought you were helping me. No, sorry. So I'm taking five commander. <laughs> and pass the turn. Okay, uh, white source off top. Um, kind of works. Myriad landscape tapped. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Um, you want to know what? I might as well play it. If I'm going to have to discard it, I might as well play it, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play Acidic Soil, which will deal one damage to each player for each land they control. So I will take one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm going to play it before I play the Myriad Landscape, so I only take four, actually, and then I'll play the Myriad Landscape. Uh... I will take five. What's the card called again? Acidic Ac Soil. Soil, okay. Yep. Trying to search it up. I heard Acidic Slime and I was like, I know that's uh, a different card. And then I will pass. <laughs> oh, you're good. Yep, seven cards in hand. I only take two damage. Wait, do you only have two lands in play? <laughs> yeah. The Mardu mm -hmm. player has the most. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish I had some of those. <laughs> did you did you pass, Nathan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. You're good. Draw. How many did you take, Ali? Sir. Uh, I took four. four. And I'm playing my fifth. I. Just hit my land drops, but not ramped at all. Um, hmm. Let's tap five and sacrifice a Mecha Synth Wellspring for, to pay two of that and cast Dargo. There's the big one. Um, he's just a 7-5 Trampler. Just. And when Microsynth goes to the graveyard, I can search for a land to put it in my hand. And I'm going to send a Thrag Tusk. Uh, Alice, what are the power and toughness of what you've got open over there? You've got Sir Gwyn, right? And Sir Gwyn is a 5-5, five, five, and Agent of Stromgald is a 1-1. One, one. Okay. The Sir Gwyn first strike. No, no. Vig Vigilance and Menace, sorry. Okay. Um, I'll send the Thrag Tusk at Andrew. Yay. 5-3. I'll jump it with the Solemn. Does it have Trample? 
It does not. Cool. So I will draw a card off of Solemn's death. Rip. And then that's my turn. Cool. Um, so I will untap. Draw. Hmm. White man on Okay. Um, I'm going to pay three to play a morph. Uh -oh. So it's a three three. So it's a will bender, right? Or it's a two two, rather. It's always will bender. Why would it be will bender? From Shellcraft. What? It's so, so crazy that you would it's even always, think that. It's always will bender. Um, I've played enough set your decks. It's probably a Chrome Shell Crab. <laughs> and I will tap Temple Bell. Everyone draws Ooh. a card. Hey, there's a white source. Oh. You're making up for things I can't do. It's great. <laughs> it's a little late, but it's there. <laughs> Does exist. And then, hmm. Yeah, I guess I've just passed the turn. I don't have any blue sources. Uh, yeah, thank... so you can't flip up your world ender. <laughs> to thank you in my own mean way, I will send Ember the Shieldbreaker on an adventure uh, and destroy the Lithoform what? engine. Sorry, I... give me a second. I can't hear, so I have to quit the card. Playing Shieldbreaker. It, just take your turn. If it's something that matters, then you can just point to me or something. I don't know. Uh, that is not how you thank someone for letting you draw a card. It might be. I don't trust your deck. And it's not like I'm going to copy Rust Elemental just to give two different people Rust Elemental. Uh, draw for turn. <laughs> Didn't even like that sentence. <laughs> uh, play a planes. I said I wasn't going to do that. Um, how much am I keeping? I'll pay a uh, red and a white with Boros Garrison for Seraphic Greatsword. And equip it to Sir Gwyn for zero. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever it attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life, I create a 4 4 white angel creature token with flying, tapped and attacking. Oh, thank God that's not me. <laughs> it's not. It might be soon. Uh -huh. And I will use Shimmer to Fail for a black and tap two planes for a Ruin Raider. Sorry, stick. Uh, beginning of my end step, if I attack with a creature each turn, I reveal the top card of my library, put it into my hand, and lose life equal to its mana value. And I will move to combat and send the two existing tokens at Nathan. Yep. The Sky Knight and the new token. Is the at... you cut out right there is that also going at me? Can no, no. Uh, the like Sky Knight and the new token I'll send it uh Andrew. Great. And Sir Gwyn and the new 4/4 four four, I'll send it Ali. And the token's just a 1/1, one one, right? Just a 1-1, one, one, plain old. Alright, I'll block and kill the 1-1. One, one. Cool. My 2-2. Two, two. We'll use that. Okay, it does get 2-2, two, two, okay, so... Quick, because I think I can hear you now. You can kill it if you double block. Yeah. I don't think I want to, though. 
I didn't so, think so. I'm sorry. I only attacked you for the angel. That's 11. Yep, I get it. It's been the math in my head. How owie that is. Ooh. So I'm taking two, correct? Yes. And then at the beginning of my end step, I will draw, well, I'll reveal tournament grounds, put into my hand, and lose zero. Uh, Alice, real quick, you attacked me for two last turn, right? Yes, two. Cool. Perfect. Sorry, Sorry no, 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 it, it, it cuts out, so, and then, then I don't know when I cut out if people can hear me or not, so I... No, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, untap, draw, I drop the almighty planes onto the battlefield. We, we, we put all of our colors. Uh, land tax. <laughs> it fixes itself. <laughs> See, this, I always, okay, I always go into the trap of keeping, like, two landers with a land tax and then never drawing the white source. <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like a, it's like a hallmark of this deck specifically. Um, to the surprise of no one, I will then not have any other plays and pass my turn. <laughs> Okay. Land tax is looking kind of nice, though. Yeah, it's it's a nice card. I'm not gonna lie. It's a really I don't good think, card. I'm not I'm not sure after I crack my myriad landscape if I'm right. gonna actually be able to use it. Because <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. If if everyone. Yeah, I I don't even I I don't even have the lands to use it. I don't want to put that in my road day. I passed, by the way, Alley. Yep, I played a land. Gotcha. And now I'm having regrets on that decision. It's fine. It's at, I'm at six. I, it, land tax isn't going to trigger unless you land ram. No, I, I had a landfall card in my hand, but I already played a land, so I'm like, oh, oh man. That's an oof. <laughs> so I, I, I was rethinking. Um, I'm going to play Torbran. Thing of Red Bell. Oh, nice. So nothing's coming at you again. Good so Dargo know. gets a little beefier. And uh, Dargo is going to swing at Alice. Uh, does trample, is a 7-5, and deals two additional damage from Torbrand. Yeah. Um, I'll take 9 and 7 commander damage. Big oof. Okay. And I will pass. Thank you. Oh, sorry, is uh, all nine of it commander damage, yeah? Or does... Yeah. Or... Yeah. Yes, it's that much damage plus two. It's... Yeah, it deals yeah. all the damage. It's still Dargo dealing this damage, yeah. I got a blue yeah. source. Now you can flip that little <gasps> bender. Oh, wait, is Willbender too blue? It's not Willbender. That'd be crazy. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I need one more land before I can do what I want with it. Wow, that was a beat-up yeah, card. Um, it's only one blue. God, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, I need to correct the misplay quickly. Mm -hmm. I should have drawn from attacking with Sir Gwyn. So I would have drawn the tournament grounds. I would actually have revealed... Amorphous Axe and Taken 2. Okay. Um, I am playing Zedru for the first time. Hey! She has arrived. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to tap Temple Bell. So everyone draws a card. Yay! Ding. And yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the turn. Thank you. Draw. Okay, um... I 
I'll play an X Guard Armory Tat. Uh, we'll play Amorphous X for two. Let's use one of Soul Wings for ease. Uh, equipped creature gets plus three, plus one as every creature type. And I will also equip it to Sir Gwyn. She is a 10-7 Vigilance and Menace. And I'll move to combat. So I'll swing the Skynet Vanguard and the 1-1 one -one it makes at Alley. The Two, two twos, uh, uh, Nathan, and most life Sir Gwyn at you, Andrew. The they're two twos. Yeah, uh, the two one one. Sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I will gain two life. Uh, and the angel at Ali. Sorry. How much is Gwyn doing? Uh, she is a eight, ten, seven. Sorry. 10 7? Yes, and it makes a angel, a 4 4 angel swinging at you. Okay. I'm gonna take it. So, go down to 12, 18. Oof. Eesh. Uh, I think the. I take the five that's in the air, but I'm declaring a block with Destiny Spinner on the token on the ground that's created. Uh, I just assumed that one was going to die. Uh, sorry, I tap. I'm going to real quick just crack and fetch for my Myriad Landscape. Cool. Uh, I take two off of my Boseju. Uh Just while you're finishing up your turn there. Yeah, uh, the beginning of my end step, I won't do it in second maze, I'll reveal Oral's Charm, take two, and put it into my hand. And that's me. Um, it's your turn, Nathan. I think they're still hunting. Everyone's searching for myriad landscape, right? Oh, gotcha. Which I might be in high sure. demand then. Oh, sorry, I messed that trigger up again. I should have lost one and drawn for Sir Gwyn. So the one I would have revealed is Winter Mirror Commander, which is still two. I always forget that extra line of text on Sir Gwen. Uh, Alice, is that your turn? Yes. Cool. On your end step, uh, Spine Rock Knoll, since uh, seven or more damage was dealt to an opponent. Treasonous Ogre. Ooh. <laughs> on top. Draw. Really it's, a, it's a very, very good card. Yeah. It's a... Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. One, two, That's three, really good. Yeah. four, five, six. Six mana, fire song and sunspeaker. Um play a mountain. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what is twenty five divisible by what what three um, yeah, give me a second. Let me can, the calculator. You can do it up to eight times. And it would put you at one life. Yep. Which would bring you to one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate... I'm going to pay 21 life. So going down to four... 
to generate eight mana with Treasonous Ogre. Okay. One, Boseju who shelters all. Take two. So currently I am floating ten mana. One is Boseju, so whatever I play cannot be countered. Um, I will cast... Let's see... Rolling Earthquake to deal X damage to each creature without horsemanship and each player. Actually, ah, shoot, I need to leave enough life to leave myself alive Ooh. in this. Give me a second, I actually have to rethink that, because otherwise this just kills me. Um, <laughs> shoot. I thought that was the most awesome way to scoop ever, Phil. <laughs> that, 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 no, 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 that, I, that has been a way that I've scooped before. Okay, so if I gain... So this is currently X equals 9. So if I gain 3 more life, that's X equals um, 8. And if I gain 3 more life, that's X equals 7. So now this will reduce me to 1 life. So X equals 7. So 7 damage. So everything takes 7. And I gain 7 life for each creature on the board and each player. I will Boros Garrison, tap Boros Garrison to... Give all Gosh, my indestructible it. with Boros Charm. Um, in response, I'm going to tap okay. red um, and so four for a ricochet trap. What does this do? Uh, ch hey. Changing the target of, oh. uh, of the Boros Charm. Ah, uh, that doesn't target the oh, of the Boros Charm. Is no, Boros Charm, Boros Charm doesn't target. target. What does Boros Charm do? Boros Charm's yours? permanent so you control gain indestructible. Oh. So I can't do that. No. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I'm wouldn't help. in one of those spouts where I can't hear anything. Okay. Well, it's fine. I, I couldn't do what I... I thought I had a, a gotcha so, moment. How many creatures are on the board? I have two. So you have four plus two, so six plus my two, that's eight. And then... The rest of them are Alice, nine. how many do you have? Uh, they will still take the damage, won't they? Oh, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I gain 16. Or, no, 16, 17, 18, 19, because it also deals damage to players. So, I gain 19 times 7 life. So I'm at a hundred. Uh, so I gain 133 life. So oh, I'm nice. At, what are, what am I at? Sorry, what did we take? Ah. Seven. Great. Uh, Fire Science and Speaker will go back to the command zone. And, uh, you say it costs two more. We take seven. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna pass. Do Don't your worst. Here. My morph was Crumb Shell Crab. Thank you. <laughs> I was, I was going to steal Sirkwin, but now I can't do that. How much damage do we take, sorry? We, we took seven from the, the spell, the rolling earthquake. Go. Seven? Oh, God. I'll tap a few draw. I'll tap six at Cascadama. I will play my... When for the turn, which is a forest, Kodama will trigger allowing me to put a permanent with less cost on the battlefield. Which is, there's a mountain. Tap two to cast three visits. I will search for a stomping ground, put tapped, and that tri Kodama trigger will bring in a thriving grove, which we'll call red. And that'll be it. Uh, fortunately. Do you have enough lands that I get to add some? Because that was a lot of lands. Uh, how many do I need to have? Uh, each time you put in one when you have more than me, so I have seven. You have seven? Okay. I played lands numbers eight, nine, and ten this turn. So you have, you have three triggers. Oh, awesome. In that case, I'll put in tournament grounds, a plains, and a grim claim pathway. Thank you. Hmm. Yep. A Killmancer's map seems decent. It's one of the, the, yeah. <laughs> one of the more expensive cards to come out of... Uh... 
Commander 21, right? I think it's yeah. the most. Alright, I'm just dropping cards all over as I shuffle, but... <laughs> So it's, it's pretty much my job to take Nathan down now, right? You don't need to do that. I also like how I was just like, I couldn't hear anything, and I just, my, my sound phases back in for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be commander damage, and I don't think Zedru is going to do it. I mean, it's, you know, Zedru could do it. You never know. It, 141 life is nothing, okay? I've been killed with regular damage after going up to 500 plus life in this deck. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going to worry about it, but thank you for the reassurance. <laughs> Look, I just I'm just here to throw a little rock concert, you know? Sing sing to some fire, speak to some suns, you know? <laughs> the whole shebang. Oh, it's my turn? Sorry. So I hope maybe anyone I might have wronged leaves my board for a bit while I fix the other problem and apologize. I'm play an island. Um, then we're going to go blue, blue, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. So nine mana. Um... I need to still figure out what I'm targeting with this. Uh, right of Replication. Kicked. Uh, um, I would recommend it's nothing of mine. I was thinking Kodama, because then I could spit out a bunch of stuff from my hand, but... Why? What is causing that? That would be gross. But, um... Alice, do you have any other... What are your non-legendary permanents? Or creatures? Uh, the best I have is Ruin Raider or Four Four Angels, but I would really recommend not me. What was it? Ruin, Ruin Raiders and then one of the angels, you said? Yeah, otherwise small small knights and soldiers. Uh one of the knights has flying. <laughs> ah. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just going to be Kodama then. So, five copies of Kodama. Um, actually, Kodama. So, for each one entering, you get five triggers. <laughs> the entire so you hand. You can put in up to 25 permanents that cost six or less from your hand. Oh. Can I, yeah. can I in response, I'll tap Temple Bell. In response Ooh, to this, job. to write a replication. Okay. Makes sense. You know that that works. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. So, I'm just going to here. I have a copy of Kodama, so I'm just going to put that there. Um, so, the five of them will enter. I have nowhere near that many permanents, but I can put out a planes, a Baird, a Jace wielder of mysteries. Um, a Rust Elemental uh -oh. and a Sun Titan. Okay. So, oh, this isn't good. Hold on, let me pull these up on spell table so I can show it to the audience. Sun Titan. Sun Titan. So, Sun Titan. Rust Elemental. We have mysteries and then Baird. Okay, so I'm gonna have to sacrifice four of the Kodamas because they're legendary. Um, yeah. Sun Titan. I'm going to see. Do I have any permanents that? No, <laughs> I have no permanents. <laughs> from uh, Sun Titan entering. Those are some of the strangest Kodamas I've ever seen. 
whatnot. <laughs> Those are some of the strangest Kodamas I've ever seen. Jace, some round thing, <laughs> a big dude with a sword. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. Oh no! All the all the Kodamas died in this, but then they replaced themselves. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna uptick Jace. Um, I'm going to have. Uh, who's the biggest threat? Probably. Uh, Nathan, Nathan Miltu. And I'm gonna draw one. And then, yeah, I don't really have any other mana, so I'm just gonna pass. Alright. Thank you. I think this is the longest an untapped step has ever taken me. <laughs> you have so much stuff to untap. I know, this never happens. Um, okay. What is Sir Gwyn? Big. Ten. Oh. Uh, I will pay a red and a black and use Agent of Stromgald to turn one of the reds into a black for Sign in Blood. I will draw two cards and lose two life. Great. Mm. Okay, um, I'm trying to think what's in my deck for this. Sorry, take a moment, but I'll do the same, turn a red into a black for a vampiric tutor. And I just need to hunt something. Sorry, I can't, uh, be quicker, but... Am I about to get sworn Markov? No! <laughs> <laughs> That would be a good play. <laughs> okay. It's not what I expected, but that's what I got. It's really not what I expected, but... Sorry. I will put that on top and lose two. I just pick at that, sorry, make sure I got the mana cost right. Cool. Okay. I'm going to do something very mean here, and I'm sorry. Mean to who? <laughs> Probably everyone. <laughs> Grand. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. We'll know what's going on. Nothing good. <laughs> right. <laughs> sorry. I will move to combat. Yeah. Uh, I will swing Sir Gwyn at Nathan. Uh, the Sky Knight Vanguard, the 1 2 flyer, and by extension, it's 1 1 at Alley. And. Everything else at Alley. <laughs> <laughs> Including two four four angels and two one ones. Oh. 
Why not throw the angels at? Right, I'm Actually, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'll throw the other the other one ones, and I'll throw the angels at you, Andrew. Uh, are you gonna pay for those? Uh, how much is it? Uh, one each. Almost dead. Uh, yeah, soaring. Cool. cool. I'll uh, clarify what everything is in a second. I'm mostly making the first attack for my own sanity. The first attack. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, that's not what I meant. But I need to. Um... Just, uh, I can only heal one person at the moment, and I don't know who that is. Uh, is it me? Uh, so I'm gonna need is a little bit of assistance with what's coming at me. Is it Ali? Um, well, for the attack trigger, I will draw. Then I will pay two red to flash in Ember Cleave on Sir Gwyn. Oh, good. And then pay four... For both halves of a chrome as well. Uh -huh. So creatures I control get flying, vigilance, double strike, lifelink, indestructible, and protection from uh, all colors. Do I die here? Uh. Yes, I do die here. I am yes, going to, to commander damage. I'm gonna chump the rust elemental on one of the angels and then take eight from the other one. Is that it? Uh, yes. Oof. And. Yes, that's so what we're doing. Which ones are so coming from against angels? Oh! Um, sorry, uh, a 3 2, a 1 1, a 1 1, a 1 1, a 1 1, and a 1 2 flyer. But they all have, they all have double strike. Okay, so 3 2, I counted 4 1 1s, and the 1 2 flyer? Yes. Out of the 3 2, yes. Okay. Blocking the 3 2, blocking the flyer. And then taking from the 4 1 1s. 8. And the token dies, and the flyer dies. Uh, they are indestructible. Oh. Well, I, I don't lose my at least. I could have given them protection beforehand, but I was I, I didn't want to be too mean, but I think it did end up that way anyway. Uh That's so fine. eight sixteen from the angels. Yep. And Sir Gwen is four five six eleven so twenty two Nathan's dead to commander damage right yes they're having a lot of trouble hearing anyone so they DM'd me sorry about that Right, and I will pass the turn and reveal and draw a swamp. Okay, but Nathan was eliminated? Yes, commander yes. damage. Okay, so then the turn goes to me. Untap with 10 mana and a Kodama. Let's see what I can do. Oh my god. I was convinced someone was going to board wiper that, so I didn't cast the Akroma's Will first. <laughs> I wish I had a board wipe. That would have been good. Okay. I, was, I was just like, I can't, I can't. There's no way this will connect. <laughs> um, I really need here is draw uh, cards in hand. Five. 
Uh, Andrew, cards in hand? Um, I have five. Five for both? Okay. I think I know what's coming. So we will start with... That's nice. as well. <laughs> so that gives me five red floating. I'll just grab a die here. Alright, and also exile the top three, and I can play them this turn. Mountain, Seal the Heights, Forest. Okay. We will play the Mountain. Uh, Kodama Trigger puts in Gaia's Cradle. Oh! Dang it, I should not have done it that way. I missed my landfall card again. So, three. Er. Two and three from the floating mana for Spore Mound. Uh, Kodama Trigger putting in Coastline Marauders. Which one's that, sorry? Marauders oh, is a 0 3. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Then I will cast a crop rotation. Nice. To I will sacrifice one of these tapped forests and go get some land in tap, and it comes in, just comes in any land. I believe right? so. Yep. I I might get land triggers off yep. this, but it doesn't. We'll get a. You almost definitely do. I if you have any in hand. I would have just assumed you get them. Yeah, fair enough. Because I'm going to put a lot of lands in. Stick them in. I'm looking for a Fable Passage. A lot is happening. I think I put it in here. Maybe I did not. It's, it's a big turns game, it turns out. Maybe I didn't. I don't see Fable Passage. Maybe I used it already? Or maybe I forgot to put it in. Or maybe I just didn't put it in. Alright, I'm going to just grab a forest instead then. <laughs> and I will get a sapling for that. Uh, my box is over there. I will grab it when I freehand. This will be the sapling for a moment. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Tap. That's clear enough. Four, four. All right. Then, uh, let's see. Grab sapling. Spider, S, soldier, sapper one. There we go. I have nothing to put in off the Kodama trigger for the sapperling entering. Um, I'm going to tap. That guy's cradle. I'll use this and the remaining two floating to cast Scale the Heights. Put a 1 1 counter on Coastline Marauders. Let's see. Gain two life. Very important right now. Additional land this turn and draw a card. Okay. Oh, I wish I had that earlier. <laughs> um, tap. Gaia's Cradle for four, Mountain makes five. Uh, Zendikar's Royal. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, I get a 2 2 green elemental token. Ooh. Okay. Play my extra land for the turn with uh, Trimble Heights. I get a 2 2 and another Sapperling. <laughs> and then I've got four mana left, which is exactly enough for Wilderness Reclamation. <laughs> Kadama Trigger puts in Lignify on Sun Titan. Which one's that, sorry? Lignify, uh, Enchanted Creature is a 0 4 tree folk with no abilities. Why are my feet thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, I only know some cards by flavor text. Leave me alone. <laughs> yep, that's the, that's the one. Yep. <laughs> and uh, that is my turn. I'm just looking for an, a 2 2 elemental to see. Has anyone ever told you you There's remind me more. of Omnath getting banned in standard? <laughs> that's Kodama, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love Kodama. <laughs> And then all my lands on tap at the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, one and a half million. So, so my, my turn. <laughs> what will I do? Let's see. Um, uh, I'm going to go up to six and uh, mill Alice for two and draw a card. Understandable. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Okay. And some home fortress of the legion. Um, I will. Um, I will tap tempo bell to draw for everyone to draw a card. Thank you. Yeah, near the end. Okay, so I'm going to tap four. Um, for cosmos elixir, Ooh. which will let me play a land for free. Cosmos Elixir. And then I will play an island for turn, which will, with Kodama, let me play a planes for free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I should have lignified your Kodama. I don't want the other people doing Kodama things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I'm going to pay three blue, and then I guess four for Seagate Restoration, and I will draw four. Hold on, Seagate Restoration, and I will draw four because I have three cards in hand. And I have no max land size for the rest of the game. I only have two mana to use. I guess that's it. I only have two mana that I can use. So I will go to my end step and gain two life. Yep. And I will pass. Okay. Thank you. Oh, hi, Lacey. My dog came down. <laughs> um, I'm not sh sure if I mentioned I forgot I got a 4-4 four, four for attacking Nathan. It's not. It's on the attack. I just forgot about it because it was commander damage that was doing the killing. Oh, yep. Yeah. All good. I right, think Evan's untapped. I will draw for turn. Oh. I'll play... Fury Calm Snarl as my land drop. Uh, pay four for Heart Seeker. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one, and has tap unattached Heart Seeker, destroy target creature. Oh. Yep, yeah. oh. and it equips for free tonight. Not like that. Oh, so oh, which. You can make your knights mm -hmm. just blow things up. Yes, of which I only have three knights, but Perfect. I will equip it to Agent of Stromgald. Uh, what colors does everyone have? Jeskai and Gruul. I have... Yeah. Ali, you only have one red block? One red creature and the rest are all green. Cool. Correct. I will... Kodama has reach, doesn't it? Yes. Correct. Cool. I will tap Agent of Strom Geld 
to blow up your red blocker, Ali. Okay. Um, move it to Skynet Vanguard for free and tap that to blow up Kodama on Andrew's side of the board. And then I guess equip it to Sir Gwyn or plus two, plus one. Uh, move to combat and swing win at uh, alley and with a 4-4 four, four angel flying and three angels at Andrew. Cool, that does kill me. Alright, Sir Gwen has Menace. Does she have yes. Trample? Uh, she has Nemerly, does, doesn't she? She has Double Strike and Trample. Okay. Yep. Um, does she have Death Touch? She does not. She has Vigilance, okay. Menace, Trample, Double um, Strike. I'm... And how big is she? Uh, plus about five eight. Three, six, I'm guessing uh, eight. Four tall. <laughs> five foot uh, eight. Plus, <laughs> <laughs> plus eight. Plus four. So a, th a thirteen nine double strike trample. Menace. Vigilance. Okay. And and a four four in the air at you as well. <laughs> Correct, yeah. I've got 13 total toughness. Cool. So either way, I'm going to take 13 minimum trample damage, so I'm dead. Okay. Good game. Good Sir, game. Sir Gwyn is real good. Yeah. That, that. Again, I kept forgetting about the draw, like, but... Definitely underrated. Next yeah, I. I... Sorry. <laughs> Next time I should break up my Sir Gwyn deck. But I added in the uh, uh, legendary theme to the knights oh. and equipment. Very nice. Hmm. Uh, honestly, the thing that kind of did work there was um, Seraphic Greatsword. Because the, the yeah, two mana an is nice, uh... but the equip, the equip is the pain. Yeah. Making it a free equip is just real good. Yeah. Bananas. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us, or for joining. Yeah. But, yeah. English is hard. <laughs> Thanks for playing. This was a lot thank, of fun. Thank you. Hope we'll to do this again oh, yeah. sometime. It's a good game. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and. Follow the links in the description to find these wonderful people and go support them. And yeah. Y'all have a great day. You too.